Hey y'all, welcome to day 13. Today we're talking all about the keys to confidence. Um, and I am not speaking on this chapter today because I am misconfident. When I started out this journey, I was super far from that label. Um, if you know anything about the color personalities, um, I uh, our reds are traditionally the ones who are known as the more confident people. Um, I only recently have tested with a little bit of red in my personality chart. I am a true yellow. Yellows um, are loyal and committed uh, qualities that we can really harness to um, say, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this thing, and then over time we can uh, learn confidence and what that looks like. So if you are yellow out there, be encouraged that uh, you too can be a confident leader for many, many reasons. I wanted to, when I put my notes together for this, I really wanted to think back to the beginning because I know a lot of you guys are just starting out. I wanted to put myself back in that place of um, freshly having a starter kit. I never te ta have taught a class before. Um, and, and remember those emotions that I felt. And I remember um, really being paralyzed by fear it took me a long time to teach my first class because I was scared that I didn't know enough. Um, you know, I often said, like, you can't stand up there and teach these people. You barely know what you're doing. Um, so I used the excuse of not knowing enough, uh, not feeling equipped enough um, to teach. And that really um, just, you know, slowed me down. It really gave me a, a slow start because everything I did was online, through a message. It was, it was just a really slow start. So we all know that classes are the quickest way to build your team. So let me just encourage you that um, Rachel kept encouraging me to teach. She said, you know what? You know more than everyone else sitting in your living room. If you have a starter kit and you've used those oils in your starter kit, you know more than everyone sitting there. And we have some really great resources that you can use to teach from, to share from. And this was one thing that she that she told me that really stuck with me and that I used that I think um, began to build my confidence over time. She said, you get up there and somebody asks you a question that you don't know the answer to, then just tell them, hey, you know what? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but I have a really great leadership support team that I can go back and ask and I will get with you um, for that answer. And you know what? Right then in class, I would stop with my notepad and I wrote their name down and I wrote their question down so I could get back with them. And the big piece is I followed through. I made sure to, to, to figure out the answer to that question and I followed up with them. And I think people really... Um, started to trust me. I started to build trust with people, even though I was in the very beginning stages of learning about my oils and learning how they supported our bodies. So I think that was a huge step. I recently had a builder who, um, one of her members messaged me and asked a question. And I always like to, to link back to my leaders and just say, hey, like so-and-so asked me this question, just wanted to keep you updated with um, kind of where she's at and what kind of support she's needing so that you can um, help serve her better. And so I reached out to that leader and I said, Hey, you know, so-and-so had this question. She's like, Oh yeah. She actually asked me that a couple weeks ago and I never responded because I didn't know the answer. Y'all, I just cringed because, um, that is the quickest way to lose um, our members trust. They want to know that, um, they have a support team that's going to reach out and help them to learn how to do all the things well. So know that you can please, 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 um, look in a reference guide, ask one of your leadership teams, ask on the page, but find those answers and be sure to follow up with people. So I don't know the answer to that, but I can find out. That is um, the number one thing that I started doing that helped build my confidence. And the second thing, and Rachel, um, not Rachel, but Sarah touches on this in the chapter is wording. Um, the wording that we use, <laughs> Just this is a, a really silly example, but even when you are I'm um, talking about the different oils and you say, you know, Copaiba, you know, for a while I didn't know how to pronounce Copaiba, but by gosh, I stood up there and said it like I knew what I was talking about. Um, and people really attach to that. If you try to say it like 20 times, uh, people can recognize that um, they just disengage with that lack of confidence. So even if you don't know what somebody, something sounds like, I say like, you know, own it. And, and keep going through. That's a really small example, but better examples are when she's talking about how we are talking to people. Um, do you believe that everyone needs oils? Do you believe that the starter kit is the best way to get started? Do you believe that oils have changed your life and they can change other people's lives? Do you believe these things? People are going to catch on if you're saying things half-heartedly or if you um, are not serious about 
um, the wording that you use. So just to give you guys an example, I sat in, uh, it was like a two on one at a little coffee shop one time with a member and it was really her, um, one-on-one and she just kind of wanted me to to come for support. And we were talking to this girl and this girl really needed somebody support. And she was looking y'all, she was searching for something and we had great conversation. She was excited. You could tell that she was ready to take the step. So we were moving in all the right directions and leading her to um, start getting her own kit and getting signed up. And in the last moment, this girl that I was that I was there with, she said, but you know what, if you're not ready to do that today, you can totally like just go home and think about it and, you know, maybe ask some questions. Um, and then we get to, we kind of get past that and, and she kind of like stepped back like, oh, okay. And then we get past that and she's ready to start sign up for a kit and we get to the ER section. She's like, we can totally skip this. Like this is, you know, eh, you know, something you can, can't do. It's, it's really not a big deal. Just skip it. And so the whole time I felt like there was this tug and pull of me feeling really confident that she needed these oils and that there, there was something um, in here that could help support her body the way she needed. And this other person saying, well, maybe like you can think about it. And you could sense in this girl that she was confused. She was like, do I need them or do I not need them? And it was a really big eye opener to me of an example of just how a lack of confidence and, you know, whether the other person that I was with knew that that's how it was coming across um, or not, that's what this girl was hearing was maybe this other person isn't so sure that this is the right thing for me. Um, so I would just say, do you believe, do you believe that everyone needs oils? Do you believe that they are life changing? Do you believe that the starter kit is the best way? Um, and, and then to practice your wording, practice on somebody. If you're using things like uh, maybe, or if you want to, or, or things like that, if you can think back to those interactions and those, some of those interactions and some of those words that you're using might be things that are tripping you up, um, long-term. So wording is really important. The third thing that really helped me to be, uh, more confident, um, over time was leadership development. So I, um, started investing, um, some time, move my phone down cause it keeps buzzing. Um, I really started investing some time and like setting some a chunk of time out of my work week to um, do leadership development, whether that was a podcast or um, reading a book or watching a YouTube video, things that worked really well for me as a as a busy mom, or if I could you know turn on a podcast as I cooked or um, turn on you know a, a video and left it playing as I uh, drove the car, something that I could listen to as I was doing other things. Um, there are, t- you know, a lot of people say I don't have time to read. There are lots of other great trainings and leader development things that you can do, um, just to further your knowledge, whether that's product knowledge, whether that's, um, developing skills as a leader, whether it's, um, young living specific, there are lots of tools out there to just continually learn. Um, and that's going to help build your confidence so that you feel, um, more confident about, um, the products that you are speaking to. And then more confident to um, just lead your team and lead your people. So I would definitely, definitely recommend um, plugging in some leadership development time. And that's what you're doing here. Just being here is a great first step of leadership development. But there's so much more after this. Um, I've actually tapped into a really great leader training for um, that's ranked specific, specific um, by Leslie Burris. She is a platinum leader. So if you're looking for something to do after uh, this game plan bootcamp training, message me and I will shoot you the links to her um, training groups. They're really good. So uh, the fourth thing I would say is do the things. Um, so something that I had to do is just um, a lot. A lot of our confidence stuff comes from fear, and that was it for me. I just had a fear of speaking in front of people. I had a fear of not knowing enough, lots of fears. And it was me just having to just do the things, teach the class over and over and over and over again. I remember whenever um, I first decided I was going to do a Facebook live, I was super sweaty. I probably practiced it like 20 times. I was so nervous to do this Facebook live. Um, And then now I do them for my team and I write a quick um, like outline and post it. And then I go and we just do it. And I looked, I thought back to that the other day and I'm like, you know what? It was because I just kept doing them. I didn't start out, um, being able to do this really easily. 
I just said, I'm going to do it because I know it's good and I know it's a good thing. And then I'm going to keep doing it over and over again. And that's another way to build your confidence. Keep teaching the classes. Keep reaching out. Keep asking if I will you. Keep um, asking if someone will meet you at a coffee shop. Keep asking, can I show you the income disclosure statement? And it's going to get easier over and over again. Um, the last thing is, and Sarah talks about this too on the very last page. She says, um, another word I absolutely hate is try. I'll try to do my um, I'll try to do my business, but I can't make any promises. You're either in it or you're not. And I loved that. It's so true. If I look back um, over our organization and over the last couple of years, and it's those people who have said, eh, like maybe I'll try it. Like I could maybe like teach a class or share with a friend. Those people, y'all, are not still doing this. You know, they maybe got a like it help enrolled one person or, and got a thank you check one time, but those are not the people who have made this a business. It's those people who said, you know what? They've said over and over again to give this five years and I'm going to do that. I'm going to give this five years and I'm going to do this thing like a business. It's those people who are ranking up. It's those people who are um, consistently getting checks every month. You're either in this or you're not. And Sarah goes on to say like, um, I move on to the next person. If they're not serious about digging, I move on to the next person. I'm not um, to that point yet. I've come across a lot of people who, uh, or not a lot of people, but a few people who maybe were really hesitant about this first and just kind of wanted to semi-dabble, who over time we've been able to uh, work with and encourage, and they've been able to see the potential. So I don't think that there's your lost cause if that's not you gung-ho in the beginning. But I think you could just save yourself a lot of time and um, just commit. If you want to do this thing, if you're excited about this, if you feel like that this is um, what you're being called to do, commit. Say, I'm going to do this thing. And uh, that's going to take you really, really far in this business. So I hope that that was helpful today. Um, know that confidence is learned. If you feel like you um, really lack in the confidence area, that's uh, something that can be uh, learned over time. And so reach out to your leadership uh, for ways to help build your confidence and just do the things, y'all. Do the things and do them over and over and over again. Um, you guys are doing great. We are uh, almost halfway done. So kudos to you guys. Keep learning, keep chugging along, and um, I'll talk to you soon.